overflows transforming sex act into meditation but how to make the sex act a meditation just by surrendering it becomes so do not think about it let it happen and be relaxed do not move ahead this is one of the basic problems with the mind it always moves ahead it is always seeking the results and the result is in the future you are never in the act you are always in the future seeking a result that seeking of a result is disturbing everything it damages everything just be in the act what is the future it is to come you need not worry about it and you are not going to bring it with your worries it is already coming it has already come so you forget about it you just be here and now for tantra to attain fruition in you surrender is the beginning just surrender and move with the energy fruition will happen what is the fear why be afraid if you cannot be an afraid with your lover or with your master then where else will you be an afraid and once you have the feeling that the life force helps itself and takes the right path that is needed it will give you a very basic insight into your whole life i repeat it and once you have the feeling that the life force helps by itself and takes the right path that is needed it will give you a very basic insight into your whole life then you can leave your whole life to the divine that is your eternal beloved outer beloved is merely a reflection of inner beloved then you leave your whole life to the divine to flow spontaneous fearless and natural then you do not think and you do not plan you do not force the future according to you you just allow yourself to move into the future according to him according to the totality to transform sex act into meditation positions are irrelevant no position is very meaningful the real thing is the attitude the position of the body is not important but the position of mind is meaningful but if you change your mind you may want to change your position positions as well because both are related they are not basic but you have to start changing the attitude of the mind then with that whatever change takes place at the level of the body allow it to happen for example the man is always on top of the woman and woman is like woman likes this position alone this is an egoistic posture because the man always thinks he is better superior and higher so how can he be below the woman but all over the world in primitive societies the woman is ever the man so in africa this posture is known as missionary posture because for the first time when christian missionaries went to africa the primitives could not understand 
what they were doing they thought it would kill the woman the man on top posture is known in africa as the missionary posture african primitives say it is violent that man should be on top of the woman she is weak and delicate so she must be on top of the man but it is difficult for man to think of himself as lower than the woman under her if your mind changes many things will also change it is better that the woman should be on top for many reasons a woman is on top she will be passive so she can so she is not doing not going to do much violence if the woman is on top she will be passive so she is not going to do much violence and she will simply relax and the man under her cannot do much he will have to relax as well this is good <coughs> if he is on top he is going to be violent he will do much and nothing is needed to be done on her part for tantra you have to relax so it is good that the woman should be on top she can relax better than any man the feminine psychology is more passive so relaxation comes very easily and naturally positions will change but do not bother about positions much just change your mind your attitude surrender to the life force float in it sometimes if you are really surrendered your bodies will take the right position on their own that is needed in that particular moment if both partners are deeply surrendered their bodies will take the right position right posture that is needed at that time this is natural and spontaneous every day situations changes so there is no need to fix postures before hand that is a problem that you try to fix it before hand whenever you try to fix it this is a fixing by the mind then you are not surrendering for surrender the first criteria is the mind does not come in you simply flow with the life energy if you surrender then you will let things take their own shape and that is a wonderful harmony when both partners have surrendered to one another then it is a wonderful harmony they will take many postures or they will not take them and will just relax that depends on the life force not on your cerebral decisions life force will move you do not focus on cerebral decisions beforehand you need not decide anything beforehand decision is the problem even to make love you decide even to make love you go and consult the books there are books on how to make love this shows what type of a human mind we have produced you even consult books on how to make love then it becomes only cerebral 
you think everything really you create a real cell in the mind and then you enact it your action is a copy it is never real then or is spontaneous you are enacting a real cell the script is written it becomes an acting it is not authentic if when you have a situation a position a situation and in that how does your life force allows you to move that is natural and spontaneous just surrender and move with the life force what is the fear why be afraid if you cannot be an afraid with your lover or beloved then where will you be an afraid where will where else will be will you be natural and spontaneous and once you have the feeling that the life force helps by itself and takes the right path that is needed it will give you the basic insights into your entire life and the life will move in a rhythm then you can leave your whole life to the divine that is your eternal beloved then you leave your whole life to the divine then you do not think you do not plan do not force the future according to your cerebral attitude you just allow yourself to move into the future according to him according to total according to existence enough for now